Welcome to my eccentric leg workout for all the teams. Um, eccentric legs means that we're going to stretch a muscle. Eccentric stretches are stretching and concentric are shortening. Um, so we're going to do working on the hamstrings a lot today, uh, which can make one pretty sore. So I like to give a little warning about doing this workout is that it may feel really easy to do, but you may feel this a little bit more in about two days from now. I'm also going to give um, modifications for the younger kids to do less reps for this. So to start, you need a tennis ball. I have Will doing this right now. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a second. He's just rolling out the bottom of his feet with a tennis ball. Um, you can optionally use a step. I know not everybody has a step, but you could use a step in the house. Um, or you could just not do it with a step at all and just be on the ground when we do step ups and just kind of step up yourself. Um, so those are the requirements um, for doing this program. So to get started again, we have Will. And we're going to start by for 45 seconds of rolling out the bottom of each foot. So um, actually before he even starts, he's gonna stop for a sec. He's gonna show you, he's gonna face sideways and put his arms out straight and then flat back over it, try to show you how much he can touch the ground, how flexible he is. Now we'll try to make your back flatter. There you go, so he really can't make your back even flatter. I'm gonna show you myself and go down like this. Okay, so try to make your back really flat. I'm gonna demonstrate again myself so you can see me. My arms are out straight, I'm flat back over and I can actually touch the ground, yay for me. So Will's gonna show you that right now. Arms out, flat back over and try, and that's as far as he can go. So he's got like, six inches from the ground. Okay, so starting now, take your tennis ball and I'm gonna put a timer on and we're gonna do 45 seconds on your, he has his left foot. Starting with his left foot, you can start with either. Okay, so, and what this is doing as I can talk through this time, is a little boring, is he is releasing the fascia on the bottom of his foot, which is, fascia is something that whole, it surrounds muscles and it's a living tissue. It's one of the reasons we, consider foam rolling good, it um, holds the muscle in and when a muscle gets inflamed from working out, it puts a lot of pressure on it. But releasing this fascial tissue will release it a little bit up the leg, up through the hamstring and often give you a little bit more um, mobility in your hamstring. So this is a great little thing to always do or have in your skate bag. Okay, so and so you will get ready and stop and switch. Okay, so switch feet. All right, and see if this trick will work. We're gonna look at how flexible your hamstrings are before the workout and then after the workout. So you can see if you've made a difference by working on this muscle group. And as he's doing this leg, I just like to say the hamstrings are the muscles in the back of your leg. And we often focus on the quads um, and most people are more quad dominant. And so this workout is really just to strengthen the hamstrings and try to create more of a balance than an imbalance that most people have. So Will is almost done with this. Okay, just a few more seconds. And ready and stop. Okay, now he's gonna try his, he's gonna turn sideways, arms straight out and see if we got a little bit more. Uh, really reach there. He got maybe like another inch. Didn't work 100% for him, but it's a great thing to do. Okay, so now we're gonna do 45 seconds of clam shells. I'm gonna actually do this for you, Will's gonna start. So what that is, and he's not gonna do it, it's just your leg goes in, your leg goes out. So I'm gonna do 45 seconds on each leg. Just Three, one place. two, one, go. Here we go. I can see myself try to stay right over your hip and not let your hip fall out. That's very easy to do. Okay, if this is really easy for you, you can always put your arms up. So just focus on being balanced. You'll feel your leg moving around in the ground. 20 seconds up. Good for your hips. Ten seconds. And then I'm gonna do my other leg. Obviously, I chose my easier leg first. Three, two, one, stop. Okay. Ready? Tell me when to go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. And the next exercise, we're just gonna do some side lunges again, just to get a little heat in the body. It's actually kind of cold out today, if you can't tell by what I'm wearing. 
kind of on a hat, but I know I'm gonna get one. Twenty seconds left. Just breathe through these. I can't remind you how much it is if to focus and relax yourself as you do balance exercises. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, stop. All right, so now he's gonna do, I'm gonna do 45 seconds without tripping. I've just some side lunges, just gonna go over and up and over and really reaching up. So what's gonna tell me when to go? I'm gonna 45 do 45 seconds. seconds. Three, two, one, go. And up, really reach, side lunges. Everybody can do this warm up and all of it. 20 seconds. So really try to reach a little bit more. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Awesome. The next one we're going to do are RDLs, which you've actually um, seen me do bunches of times. I'm going to let Will do these. So we're going to do five RDLs on each leg. Again, an RDL looks like this. I usually put my knee up and I go over. It is not a spiral. It is not about being pretty and definitely not about arching your back. Okay, so here goes Will. Five on each leg. Look at the control. The skating leg, the leg he's on, does not have to be straight. We actually never want a locked knee. You probably go a little slower than him. Let's do him kind of fast. Go a little slower, Will. One and up. This is turning on all the muscles in your body. Lots of core. Two and up. See how he doesn't put his foot down? Three and up. Four and up. Go all the way over, Will. And five and up. Awesome. Now we're going to do up and out lunges. Um, we're going to do two sets of eight. If you are in center stage or you are, let's say, 14 and under, Again, do your comfort zone. I don't know what his training zone, but gauge. Um, the knee goes up, and then you go to a side lunge. Okay, I'd like to tell you to do this with weights. I'm gonna actually have Will do this. So again, the knee goes up, so we get some interior deltoids up, and then out, and then down. Did you see that? He's gonna use either two three pound balls, or I have some smaller weights. If you don't have weights, you don't need weights. This is just adding a little bit to it, okay? So he's going to use a ball so it's going to go up, okay, and out, one, up, and out, two. Actually, well, we're going to restart. Sorry about that. He's going to alternate legs, and I would rather him, I want to see him bring the ball up and then step out. So ready? Knee up as the arm goes up and out, one, together. Other one. Knee up and out, two. Keep your shoulders to her. Knee up and out three. Knee up and out four. Okay, stop if you're younger, keep going well. Knee up and out five. Knee up and out six. Knee up and out seven. Knee up and out eight. Stop. Um, in his intro, I'm going to let him put his sneakers back on too. So he's going to put his sneakers back on. I'm going to do another set. He is using an eight pound weight ball. Uh, again, weights as he's put, throwing his sneakers back on. I'm going to demonstrate this one more time. Then he goes up, your arms go up with the knee like there's a, you're a puppet. And then you step out and then bring it in. And then the other one goes up. He's actually adding an extra knee. So that's another step up to this workout. So he went up, out, and then he went up and down again. Please do what you would like to do. If you want to add to it, add that extra knee out. That was a great addition. Knee up and out, one. Knee up and slide out, two. Knee up 
and out, three. Knee up and out, four. Stop if you're on the younger teams. Knee up and out, five. Don't forget that up here. Knee up and out, six. Knee up and out, seven. Knee up and out, eight. Awesome, we're gonna stop there. Okay, so now we're gonna do what I call our step up soldiers. So, a soldier um, is a warm up move a lot where you just step forward and reach for it. You don't go up on your toe, okay? Uh, so what Will's gonna do, and he's gonna do step up soldiers, alternating legs, so step up, step down, or you can do step and reach and step down, switch feet, step and reach and step down. We are not here to become a kick line height of like a rock hat. This is just a reach, step, reach, step, down, step, reach, step, down, or you can do weights and with a weight step, reach, or step up. Okay, whatever you choose. These might be easier to hold. Okay, he's gonna use two, three pound weights. Okay, so he's gonna alternate legs for the step up soldiers. And he's gonna do two sets of 12 of these, um, of step up soldiers. And for the younger teams, they're gonna do two sets of six. So I will tell you. Ready, go. Step, reach, step, down, step, up, step, down, two, and up, down, three, down, four, he's alternating legs, down, five, down six, stop if you're younger. Down seven. Down eight. Down nine. Keep going. Down ten. Down eleven. Last one. Do the same exercise again. This time I'm going to have him do the step and reach. He can use the dumbbells for the weights. Okay, so this time he's going to do the other one. Um, a step reach, step, down, step, reach, step, down. Or maybe I'll do the floor one if you don't have a step with you for a second. Ready, go. Step, up, step, down, step, up, step, down. Keep going, step, up, this is three. Four. Five. Six, stop if you're younger. Seven. Eight, nine, slow down, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome. That was great. So the next one we're going to do, again, if every time we step up, we are making an extension of actually both our legs, but this one we're loading, the one I'm stepping up on. So this one is a step up with a shoulder press. So a shoulder press would be like, you're going to reach to the sky. So as you step up, step down. Okay, and alternating legs, again, two sets of 12. So step, reach, step, down, step, reach, step, down. Okay, two sets of 12, two sets of six for the youngers. Ready, go. Step up, step down, step up, step down, two. Step up, step down, three. Up, reach, four. Reach, five, slow down, reach. Six, stop if you're in your reach. Seven, reach. Eight, slow down, reach. Nine, reach. Ten, reach. Eleven, reach. Twelve, and rest. I'm gonna do that again. Get an extra one. Okay? I'm gonna do that one more time, just a few seconds rest. Are you almost ready? Yeah, yeah he's ready. Okay, he's gonna do them a little bit slower. Ready, go. Step, reach, step, down one. Step, reach, step, down two. Step, reach, step, down three. Step, reach, step, down four. Step, reach, step, down five. Step, reach, step, down six. Stop if you're younger. Reach, step, down seven. Step, reach, step, down eight. Step, reach, step, down nine. Step, Reach, step down 10, step, reach, step down 11, step, 
reach, step down 12. Awesome. Okay, so the next one you can do on the ground. I'm gonna show you the ground version, or this is a little more complicated on a step. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna put our arms next to our head with small weights, okay? Make sure your elbows are facing you, we've done these before, and then you come up, so it's a tricep, okay? If you're on the ground, you're gonna go, you're gonna raise and do a calf raise. Raise and down, a little sink down, and raise and down. It's a little harder on a step, and so again, you can decide you're gonna do eight, so you're gonna go, let your heels go down and reach up, and down and reach up, okay? So the rising motion and the tricep go together. Okay, well, you're ready for your exercise? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it on the ground a little bit closer to you. I'm gonna, I don't know if I can do that. I can't do the weights with my arm. Here we go, ready, set, go. We're gonna, I'll tell you, ready, and raise and down one, and raise and down two, and raise and down three. Up, down four, up, down five, up, down six, up, down seven, up, down eight. Stop if you're younger. Up, down nine, up, down 10, up, down 11, up, down 12, and stop. I'm gonna do that one more time. Um, one thing I noticed too is when you do the triceps is try not to make your head go forward. Make sure your head is staying in a neutral position. That goes to him, okay? The younger ones, again, no more than eight, maybe six. I'll start, I'll say something at both times. Ready, second set. I'll start them with you on the ground. My elbows are close, and I have a little bend in my knees. Ready, and up, down one, up, down two, up, down three, up, down four, up, down five, up, down six, stop. If you're younger, if you want to, up, down seven, up, down eight, up, down nine, up, down 10, up, down 11, and up, down 12. Awesome. Um, just a couple more exercises. So this one I'm actually gonna do with Will. He doesn't know that yet. So he's gonna come over, we're gonna put our hands together. You can do this by yourself. So we're gonna do back leg extensions. You could do, actually maybe we'll do it here. You could do it just here, but all I want is your leg to go straight back. I don't want the foot turned out. The foot is turned in. So if you can see my feet, it looks like this. Two, we're gonna do two sets of 10 on each foot, okay? If you wanna try it on, on a step, it makes it a little bit harder. But again, we're looking for that back leg to be extended, okay? And Will's finding a balancing point. You see that this is very good on his front knee. It's a little bit of bend in it, okay? He's gonna do them a lot slower. Okay, I will do them on the ground. He's gonna do them on a step. Um, two sets of 10 for our older skaters, center stage, younger skaters. Um, I'll do two sets of five on each leg. So I'm gonna start with the right leg. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop if you're on center stage. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Relax that leg, we'll switch to the other one. Okay, you could also put a band around your ankles if you wanted to really work this up too. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop if you're younger. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna switch. I'm gonna show it with a band in case you wanna do it with a band, you have access to that or a pair of tights. Okay. Get a little tension. You ready for another set? Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop if you're younger. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And take a breath and switch. One, two, three, four, five. Stop if you're younger. Six, seven, straighten that leg. Eight, nine, 10. Awesome. Now we're gonna come back to the floor. We're gonna do five more RDLs on each leg. Everybody can do this. I'm a fan of these, do them every day. It's nice and slow. Down and up one. Down and up two. Down and up three. 
down and up four, down and up five. Okay, let's switch legs. And down and up one, down and up two, down and up three, down and up four, and down and up five. Great, now we're gonna stretch our hamstrings. Okay, so one of the hamstring stretches, I know you can touch your toes, there's so many of them. Um, we're gonna just do a very typical one. And if you don't have, I'm using the step, but you can also do it on the floor. Where I'm just gonna go forward, okay? So, Will's doing it on the wall. Ready, I'm gonna go get the timer. And, ready, set, go. Stretch it, lean into it, keep your back flat. Don't do this, okay? All stretches should be at the minimum 15 seconds and most likely 30 seconds is a good stretch. So we're gonna do each leg twice. You should really do two to three times on each leg. We're gonna do it twice. Okay. All right, almost there. See if you can sink in a little bit more and feel that stretch and switch. This is where a foam roller can also be a great additive is rolling out. I know not everybody has that, but rolling your hamstrings is a great idea. Okay, and again, try to sink more into that as you feel the tension releasing. Almost there, we're gonna do the other leg one more time, each leg one more time. And switch. You can even try to reach for your foot if you want to and pull your toes towards you. Or if you have a band, you could also use a band. Okay, we're going to switch again. Ready, set, switch. Well, I already feel like I'm getting lower. Now we just worked the hamstring. Now this workout was filmed to be a shorter workout. If you really want a good workout, if this was easy for you, I would actually recommend that you run it twice. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Now, we're just gonna take a breath. Well, it's probably not gonna do this. I'm just gonna take a breath in and inhale. And exhale. And one more time. We need a little bit more plate. Inhale. Breath in. And then hold it. And exhale. Thank you so much for joining our eccentric leg workout today. Have a great day.